Hi everybody, this is Luke Benoit and I'm bringing you a video today about narcissism. This is the first video we have made, I think, really, since the pandemic. So it has been quite a while. This is a terrific topic. Actually, one of the reasons I thought that we should talk about this is it almost seems like narcissism is in fashion or being abuse, abused by a narcissist is in fashion. So I thought we need some uh, clear terms, some clarity about what this is, what it is not. We will probably end up doing several more videos about narcissism as well because it's such a complex uh, topic. But here's what I really want you to know. Today, we're going to talk about four traits to look for in a real narcissist. If they don't have these four traits, they're just not a full-blown narcissist. This material comes from How Can You Spot a Real Narcissist by Natasha Burton. A wonderful article, a lot of it was posted on uh, Instagram and that's how I came to it. We're going to go through this information because it is in fact very, very valuable. What she's talking about here is specifically what differences, a, what are the differences between a narcissist and a self-obsessed person? Uh, in comparison with a narcissist. So this is a compare and contrast, and she is focusing on four traits to look for. We're gonna go through these because uh, we need to know about these. Number one, lack of empathy. This trait is pretty well known in terms of narcissism. Narcissists struggle to empathize with others, to understand their feelings, lacking remorse for others, lacking empathy. That's really it. They almost don't have a guilt switch inside that comes with a normal person. You know, they don't have remorse in the same way that a normal person has remorse. Number two, grandiosity. Narcissists crave attention from others and expect special treatment. For some reason, they're so special, they deserve special treatment. They have a sense of entitlement that they uh, deserve the best of everything and they believe that they are to be treated as special. Next, exploitation. Often, this is a big one that upsets people very much. Exploitation. Often, the narcissist will use others to gain something for themselves. They take advantage of people profiting at their expense of someone else, using someone to get ahead. This will include a lot of lying. No matter what they have to do, by any means necessary, they're gonna get what they want. And you know, it's really funny to me when I see that word narcissist up there, it makes me think of a snake because it's got all those S's and hisses in it. They're very snake-like in terms of making sure that they get whatever it is that they want. Fragility, and this one is a little bit surprising, but a thin-skinned quality that shows up as them lashing out. They always have to make the other person at fault. When things do not go their way, they feel insulted. 
They suffer inwardly from low self-worth, which is strange because on the outside, they're all puffed up, puffed up looking that I, they have, you know, an incredible amount of self-worth. Uh, they suffer inwardly from low self-esteem. They uh, try to turn the tables when faced with any criticism and make the other person the one that's wrong. Often in this discussion, people are going to talk about gaslighting. Right there, that's the gaslighting. Telling you something that is true is untrue, turning it around in their favor, and leaving you doubting reality and feeling like you are crazy. These four points are key to know. Somebody was talking to me today about working with a narcissist uh, to, to help them get better. And I thought, I have no interest in that. Let somebody else do that. What I want to do is help the people who are in relationship with the narcissist to escape from re the relationship, to get boundaries, to do their codependency, codependency recovery so that they can become free. We know all these concepts and we've heard them before, but they're bring, bring, being brought out now into a new light. If you are interested in getting help for me or the people I work with from this, go to my website. It is www.lukebenoit.com. That's L-U-K-E. B E N O I T dot com or phone us at five six two six one eight three zero nine nine. The email is my name again, Luke Benoit at Luke dot com, L U K E B E N O I T at L U K E B E N O I T. Dot com. I hope this is informational and helpful to you. And if you have any more questions about this, please feel free to contact us. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.